Try center hold on the 12-inch black plate on the left. Hit it somewhere. I don't see it, but I heard it. Uh, can I get that white 8-inch? I can. It's the middle of the summer in 2020. This is a, a, an unusual time that um, many of us have never experienced. Well, probably none of us have ever actually experienced before. Definitely unusual times. And it seems like governors um, of each state, there are obviously 50 of them, uh, are making news these days. At least many of them are. And um, they're making um, decisions that we don't control. And of course, uh, I'm sure there are some governors that um, can be purchased. Um, their politicians. Uh, but I want to talk about a governor that can easily be purchased by the average individual and a governor that we can completely control, and that is the Smith & Wesson governor. I want to thank my friend Rob Norris uh, for loaning me this gun. Uh, we don't own one, so we had to borrow it. And uh, Rob also loaned us the Ruger PC carbine. I'll put a link up here in the description to that one. Smith & Wesson governor, though, uh, like I say, can be purchased um, somewhere used around the $800, uh, seven to $800 bracket when you can find them. They're kind of scarce right now. Uh, MSRP on this one new is $869. And it's an interesting gun. It's, uh, this, uh, some may compare this to the, the Taurus Judge. Uh, they are quite a bit different, um, and we won't get into all the specific differences right here because I don't have a judge to compare it with right now. This uh, gun has a scandium frame, uh, which means it's fairly lightweight. The gun itself weighs just over 29 ounces empty. Uh, you know that normally we do our uh, reviews and, and weights with the guns loaded, but since this takes several different calibers, which we'll talk about in just a minute, uh, it's difficult to actually get a loaded weight because there are you know, lots of uh, variety or lots of variables in that. Barrel is a uh, sleeved barrel. It is uh, two and three quarters inches long and uh, double action, single action. The double action trigger on this is just a little over 10 pounds, uh, but it's smooth. It's typical Smith & Wesson double action revolver and uh, works really nice. The single action on this, however, comes in at just over two and a half pounds, fairly consistent. And just a tiny bit of over travel, not much. Uh, we're going to probably shoot this both single and double. I do most everything double action though. So I mentioned different calibers. Uh, this gun takes um, uh, 410 shotgun shells, two and a half inch, not three inch. This will also shoot 45 long Colt and 45 ACP from Moon Clips. We're going to shoot all of those today. Uh, concern I have though, and I, again I have yet to shoot this gun, so we're going to see how it works today, but a concern I have with shooting the center fire ammunition out of this is the long lead in the chamber. Now uh, you can see that with a, uh, a 45 chambered in this, uh, where it comes on the cylinder, and the entire cylinder has no rifling in it. So that is a long jump from the time the bullet leaves the cartridge case until the time it hits the rifling uh, just inside the forcing cone inside the barrel. So we're going to see if that affects accuracy. Um, ideally, for the most accurate uh, shooting, you want the rifling just about touching the bullet before the bullet actually starts moving out of the case. In this case, it's got that long jump before it gets to it, or a long lead, so um, we're going to see how accurate it is. We're going to shoot this on paper first just to see how it works with both the uh, 45 ACP and the 45 long Colt, and uh, we're also going to pattern it with several different uh, 410 shotgun rounds on paper, and if I think it's accurate enough, uh, well, I'll certainly run the, uh, the six-pack of plates with it, and um, I may reach out to 25. I don't know yet if we're going to try to reach out to 50 yards with this gun or not. Smith & Wesson Governor here on Riders Range. I'll apologize for the dark image on the uh, the camera. It's not uh, being real good about adjusting to uh, the uh, fact that I'm standing in the shade and uh, there's a lot of bright area behind me. Even though I've got three lights uh, on and above the camera, it's not doing a good job of uh, uh, lighting things up close in. So I apologize for the darkness, but it is what it is today. All right, 45 ACP in moon clips, and we're going to start on the target on the right for the 45 ACP. And by the way, these moon clips are uh, for my uh, Smith & Wesson 625, and they do work in the Governor. So, right target, six shots, and uh, this is arm score ammunition. We're going to see how it works out of the right-hand target. Double action, 10 yards, by the way, instead of 15.
All right, looks like it's shooting a little bit high, uh, high. And by the way, I'm shooting at 10 yards instead of the usual 15, just because I have no idea how that long lead is going to affect uh, accuracy on this gun. Let's try some Magtech Cowboy Action 45 Long Colt on the left target and see how that one works. These are 250 grain lead projectiles and not really what I would call defensive loads, but hard, uh, ammunition these days is real hard to find, in case you didn't know that here in July of 2020. $40 for a box of 50 cowboy action loads. Uh, I didn't even find any defensive loads. Now, Rob did provide a few with it. I don't want to shoot up all of his ammunition, so we're going to stick to what I can find and buy. All right, left-hand target with the uh, Governor uh, 45 Long Colt. Definitely you got a little more oomph than the 45 ECP. I think that was me. Alright, except for that one flyer I pulled to the left, I like the 45 long cold ammunition a whole lot better than the 45 ECP. All right, should we try it at 12, uh, yeah, 12 yards on the plates? Why not? Smith & Wesson Governor shooting uh, 45. This is going to be my hand loads, 45s and a moon clip. And we're going to shoot the uh, six-pack of plates uh, and just see if this works. Now, it was shooting a little high with the MagTech. We'll see how it's actually working with the hand loads. 12 yards. All right, I got to aim right at the bottom of the plate. That first one I aimed at the center, you can see it went way high, so we'll stick to the bottom of the plate again. And that last one hit way high. All right, let's, uh, let's move it over to 25 yards and just see what it'll do over there. This uh, governor, uh, 29 ounces empty. A little more obviously with uh, six rounds of uh, 45 ACP and again we're going to use my hand loads we're going to try 25 yards I'm going to save the 45 long colt and actually try that at 50. So here we go 25 yards we're going to start on the silhouette of course aiming low just to see where it hits at 25 yards and it hit low all right let's try center hold on the 12 inch black plate on the left hit it somewhere I don't see it but I heard it uh, can I get that white 8 inch? Can. Alright, how about the white 10 inch between the two silhouettes? How about the black 10 inch? Way down there on the right. Uh, I don't think I hit that one. Oh, and one left. There we go to these. Alright. Try one more time. Black 10 inch way on the right here, 25 yards. Go back to the uh, the white 10 inch between the two silhouettes. Maybe a little lower here. Huh. All right, I was aiming at the white 10 inch and the sights were on. Uh, I may have pulled it a little, but I didn't pull it all the way over to the silhouette. One more time on that white 10 inch. Not happening. Definitely not going to use the 45 at 50 yards. Magtech 45 Long Colt Cowboy Action Rounds. I'm not going to go for the Texas Star. Hope I don't hit it inadvertently. Uh, 50 yards. I'm going to start with the orange silhouette, black spot in the middle. Yeah, I can do this single action. I hate shooting single action, but we'll try it. Obviously, it didn't hit it. Try it again. Alright, got it. Can't tell where. So let's try the 10 inch or 12 inch right next to it, just to the right of the silhouettes. Nope.
That's six of them at almost a buck a shot. I'm not going to spend a whole lot more. Not really what I would call a 50 yard gun, but then again, Governor is not supposed to be a 50 yard gun. We're going to move it back to the, uh, the center targets and try, try some shot shells out of it. All right, we've got the big dog target set at uh, 10 yards. And again, I moved it closer than our normal 15 because uh, with a rifled barrel, especially a little two and three quarter inch rifle barrel, I have no idea how much spread we're going to get out of these. First two shots out of this are going to be Browning number eight shot. Next two shots are going to be uh, Winchester number four shot. And the final two shots will be Federal two and a half inch. Uh, this is a uh, handgun ammunition. It's a uh, four pellet triple aught buck. Now we shot all of these out of the uh, Rossi Tuffy. I'm going to put the link in, uh, up here uh, to that uh, review. We shot that same ammunition out of the Tuffy at uh, uh, 15 yards. Now the eight and the four we shot on a plain paper didn't show up all that well. If you look close at the video, you can see it. The uh, triple aught we did shoot uh, on, a, on a big dog target. And we're going to see how these work at 10 yards here in rider's range. All right, first two, number eight shot, center hold. All right, one more. Quite a bit of oomph out of that, and uh, they're not even all staying on the silhouette, even at 10 yards. All right, next two are number four. The hole should be a little bigger. I'm um, still scattering all over. All right. These next two are the four pellet triple lot buck center hold. Interesting. Yeah, one thing you'll notice about the uh, governor here is when I push the extractor rod all the way out, that's as far as the 410 cases go. Now that's far enough to eject the 45 with the moon clips, but not quite even far enough for the 45 long colt. Uh, but the, uh, the 410 rounds do come out of here fairly easily. All right, we're still set up at um, 10 yards with the big dog target. Got a fresh one up there. The first round out of the barrel, actually going to put two of the Federal. Um, it says it's a triple defense. So these are uh, a slug with two 35 caliber round balls behind it. So we're going to try two of those. Then we're going to do two of the uh, Brennecke Close Encounter two and a half inch slugs, and we shot these out of the uh, out of the uh, Rossi Tuffy. And then we're going to do a pair of um, two and a half inch Winchester uh, Defender, and these are uh, three plated discs. Remember, out of the four inch, out of the the Tuffy, they were four discs. And this has 12 plated BBs behind it. Again, out of the Tuffy, I believe they had 18. So, uh, two rounds of the Triple Defense, two rounds of the Brennecke, and two rounds of the Winchester uh, Defender. And let's see how it works here at um, 10 yards. Two rounds of Hornady Critical Defense uh, 410 Triple Defense, followed by two rounds of Brennecke Close at Counter, followed by two rounds of Winchester Defender. Center hold on all of them. Those hold together pretty well. The uh, triple defense hold together very nicely at 10 yards. See where the slugs go. All right, that did lock up a little tight there. too. Alright, that's hanging up just a little bit for that last round. We have to do this one single action. Huh, also shooting low. Alright, there goes the uh, defenders. Center hold again. The last one, nope. That was a light primer strike. Hit it barely. Let's try it again. There we go. All right, those at 10 yards would probably be 
okay for defensive loads. I'm not sure I'd want to spread out any more. Actually, I kind of like the triple defense best. And these are in there tight. I'm going to have to work at getting those out. And these do not want to pop out. Two of those came out okay. It looks like the Brennickies are the ones that are holding up. Everything else came out okay, but not the slugs. We'll have to work at getting the cases out from those Brennicky slugs. All right, there we have it with the just a quick look at the Smith & Wesson Governor. And again, this is a governor we can control. Okay, I know enough, enough about politics. And um, I definitely would not be using those Brennicky slugs. They uh, seem to um, swell up more, uh, mainly at the case head. Uh, I got them out uh, without having to resort to any any violence with this governor, but um, uh, they did seem to expand just a little bit more and make it difficult. So I definitely wouldn't count on those for any kind of defense. Certainly the uh, triple defense would be a decent um, home round, the uh, home defense round. The defenders also would be a, a good uh, home defense round, and the Federal 410 triple lots would also be uh, decent. Would I want to rely on this for 45 long Colt? No, if I'm going to shoot 45 long Colt, I'm going to get a 45 long Colt revolver. The 45 ACP is a non-starter. Uh, if, if for me, if it won't ring at 50 yards, it's, uh, it, it's not going to be accurate enough under stress at much closer distances. But at uh, 26 point, excuse me, 29.6 ounce scandium frame, uh, a decent Smith & Wesson double action, a very nice single action, the versatility of being able to shoot several different calibers out of it if that's what you like, and a relatively affordable price right around $800. The Smith & Wesson Governor is uh, an interesting little gun. I want to thank Rob Norris again for loaning me this gun, and I want to thank you, my viewers, for helping uh, Riders Range grow, And uh, that, which reminds me, if you do like this video, we certainly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, click on notifications so you know what's coming up next on Rider's Range. Uh, comments on, on this video, please put them down below. We do appreciate the comments and the discussion that you folks can bring to the table. I always learn from your comments. Uh, comments on anything else, anything you'd, anything you'd like to see on Rider's Range, uh, info at ridersrange.com. Drop us an email and uh, we'll uh, see if we can accommodate. If we own the gun or have access to it, we'll do a review on it. If not, I'll let you know. Uh, let's see our website www.ridersrange.com and uh, we're still trying to work on the, uh, the Keep more up on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. I haven't done anything on Twitter yet um, One of these days we'll get caught up on those. So that is the Smith & Wesson Governor Interesting little pistol here on Riders Range. I want to thank you for visiting. Obviously it didn't hit it. Try it again. All right, got it. Can't tell where.